What's going on, everybody? It's Dan here with another Moonshine Talking, and this time we are going to be talking about a Bandcamp haul I recently received. Uh, it's for the band Acid King. If you're not familiar, Acid King is a stoner doom band. They formed in 1993 in San Francisco, California. Originally, it was Lori, uh, Joey Osborne, and Peter Lucas were the original band. And currently, it is Lori, uh, Jason Landrian, a uh, gentleman by the name of Jason Willer on drums, Bryce Shelton on bass. And it seems like, from what I read, Bryce Shelton and Jason Willer, the drummer and bass player, they just started in the band. And uh, Jason Landrian, uh, he's been doing guitars and keyboards since 2020, I want to say. So it's a fairly new new formation of the band. Uh, but that that's the uh, as far as the some of the specs of the band. The name Acid King itself is based on the um, murderer. His name is Ricky Casso. And there's a great documentary that I just recently saw on Tubi about it called The Acid King. And Ricky Casso was a gentleman who he lived in Long Island in the town of Northport. And he was a he was a drifter and a major dust head he was in a pcp and the long and short of the story goes is that he and one of his druggy friends one of his druggy friends stole a bunch of pcp from him and he got real pissed about it and it, although he got some of it back and then he eventually got the money for it uh his the the guy who stole from him he eventually they took him out to the this uh wooded area called Aztecia woods in Long Island in Northport. And one thing led to another while they were all out there, him and a couple other guys, and he ended up stabbing the guy to death. They left his body out there in the woods to rot. Uh, eventually, because he was not within sound mind, he started telling people about it. And then word got out. Apparently, a bunch of people visited the dead body, but nobody, none of the kids there would say anything about it. But eventually, word got out. And they found out what was going on. They eventually got apprehended. And what's interesting about it is that it was one of the original uh, stories where it kind of tied in a lot of the satanic panic because at one point when he was killing a guy, he was telling him how, you know, tell me you love Satan. Or, and the guy was like, I love my mother and that sort of thing. It was really, it's just a tragic, awful story. But when he was, when he was going to uh, either his arraignment hearing or when they initially they they were perp walking him he made kind of like a crazy face which i'll show in a second in the camera and it's kind of a i don't want to say iconic photo but it, it's definitely it, it was ingrained into the psyche of america at the time because it really they could tie in they started doing the satanic panic angle the, when i say they i mean the media and they started doing the whole well, it is Satanism and heavy metal music and how it makes people crazy and makes them all take drugs and they all want to worship the devil and all that sort of thing. But really what it was was a bunch of drug addicts who did not have good home lives and were out on the streets, pretty much left to their own devices. And between the the drugs and the hopelessness, the one one person ended up killing another. Go Go figure. So, but it just, it was one of those interesting topics and they kind of delve into it in the documentary about media lies and media hyperbole, taking and misrepresenting uh, facts and stories to fit a narrative so you can boost ratings and sell papers and, and just build, just propagate lies and a lot of the stuff, a lot, a lot of things that are kind of very, very pertinent nowadays, but that's a topic for another time. We won't discuss that right now. We're here to talk about music, not, not, uh, not socio-political issues, but, um, they have a few albums, a bunch of them. I love this band. I've been listening to them forever, but I didn't have a lot of their stuff. Uh, I didn't have a lot of physical media of their stuff. So one day I found a couple at the local sound exchange here and I picked picked one of those up. That was Boosie Woods. Uh, that is their their second full length. 
I don't have the first slate in Zoroaster yet. I, I wasn't able to find that when I went on Bandcamp. All they had was a digital copy of it. And I, I would rather have a physical copy. So I'll just continue looking for that. Um, that, that was a pretty good one. Uh, but then I got their demo. Uh, that's that. That's the picture I was telling you about. That's that Ricky Casso character. They called him the Acid King, and that's where the band's name came from. Uh, but here's the back. And what's interesting about this, if you notice, is that that is Dale Crover of the Melvins doing additional vocals. He helped produce it. Also, Billy Anderson, who is a producer, engineer, uh, mixed a lot of albums. He's got a a laundry list of albums that he's done for bands, particularly the Stoner, Stoner Doom Variety. Uh, Sleeps Holy Mountain was one. Buzz Oven Sore, which is one of my, it's one of my favorite albums of all time. I, I love that album. Uh, he's done, on top of Holy Mountain, he's done a bunch of Sleep stuff, most of their stuff. A lot of High on Fire. Uh, he did an Alabama Thunder Pussy. Uh, there, there's a ton of bands that he's done. He's produced, engineered, mixed, and all that stuff. So he's he's very heavily involved. I'm sure a lot of you who, who are following this channel, you're familiar with who Billy Anderson is. But I thought that that was interesting. I didn't really know the details around who was involved in the making of the album. But it's a really good one. Uh, so that's, that's one. I'm not going to really go into deep, deep details on it. Uh, like I said, Boosie Woods, that was their second one. But I didn't get that with this Bandcamp thing. Then I got also on vinyl was number three by Acid King. And this one's great. Two Wheel Nation. It's a killer opener. Uh, ends with Sunshine and Sorrow. That's a great closer. War of the Mind. Uh, heavy Load is tremendous. Like I say, they are stoner doom. So if you're not into that sort of thing, you're not going to be into this. Very Sabathian. Uh, lots of lots of repetitive riffs. A uh, lot of fuzz. A lot of bottom heavy heaviness of rhythm stuff like that. So if you're not into it, you're not into it. If you are, you're you're gonna enjoy Acid King if you don't already know about them. Uh, but that's that. Then I also got uh, I got Middle of Nowhere, Center of Everywhere. That was their their fourth full length, and that that's a really good one. And then finally, I also got not finally, but I got their their most recent one, which came out on Blues Funeral Recording, uh, Beyond Vision. I'll be honest, I really didn't care for this one. It was, like you can see, it's got seven. Oh, let me put that in, in focus here. It's got seven songs on it, and three of them are actual songs with lyrics. The rest of them are instrumental. I mean, it's a bold bold choice, Cotton, but it just it, it didn't really do much for me. I was a little bit disappointed by it. It still has a lot of the the signature sound and style that anyone familiar with Acid King would enjoy and appreciate, but it it just kind of it it missed a little bit for me. I and then uh, but I won't be too negative. I got this sweet biker wizard shirt. If you can see that, you you'll see it in a couple of videos I've been posting. If it's not obvious, I, I did a I banged out one, two, and three of these, one after the other. Um, then I also got excuse me, I'm shedding. I got a patch that I will put on the jacket that I will eventually put together. And then I got a sticker. They threw in a sticker for me, which is nice. You know, I always appreciate stuff like that. But yeah, they are a, uh, they're a fantastic band. Again, uh, the Stoner Dome, Dome, the Stoner Dome, <laughs> I can't even speak, the Stoner Doom variety. Uh, and if you're not into that, then you're probably not going to enjoy it. If you are into it, then you'll enjoy it. I would definitely recommend and suggest that you can sling iron to Acid King as well as sleep, as well as a bunch of stoner and doom metal bands. It's it's kind of a nice dynamic to it, as you can see, based on the crap on the walls here. I do enjoy my sludge and my stoner and doom and stuff like that on top of death metal and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so it was... Uh, I was excited. I was real excited to get finally get my hands on a bunch of Acid King stuff. Uh, I'm always late to the party on things, so I just recently discovered Bandcamp. I always knew it was a thing, but I wasn't really aware of the uh, the extent of it, what you could do with it, and how bands would go on there and they'd sell their own merch, and they get a larger cut of the percentage on things. So I was really that that really resonated with me. So I, I finally I discovered Bandcamp recently. 
So I'll probably use that as a medium to try and find more stuff for bands that I that I haven't been able to find in the past. So I found the Hippie Death Cult stuff, this stuff, a couple other things that I picked up. Even though you can find Midnight through Metal Blade, I found I went through the Bandcamp thing. Um, but yeah, it's a cool site. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'm, I'm late to everything as far as things go. I, I I can make the joke about being born too late, but that's that's stupid. But yeah, so I'm enjoying it. So that's that's my uh, that's my Bandcamp haul of Acid King merchandise. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, anything you wanna want to mention to me if you enjoy them you don't enjoy them got bands that are similar to them that you might recommend um, i'm all ears uh, feel free to recommend in the comments like share subscribe all that good stuff all the crap they tell you to do to make your channel grow uh it's fun you know i i'm, I'm enjoying this i'm having a good time i uh, got a lot a lot more content like so i'm gonna post post this video got a couple reviews coming up i'm gonna do more of a do a more in-depth uh collection update because I got something uh, I'm trying to uh trying to compile a few more things before I actually do another collection update gimmick and uh yeah talking some more wrestling if anybody's got got any questions you you want answered wrestling related uh, metal related uh workout stuff you know I, I'm not the most knowledgeable person on anything I'm probably a half informed dummy like most people but you know, I'll feel free to to chat with you. I, I enjoy discussing all the stuff that I'm interested in, horror movies, uh, old 80s movies, stuff like that. Um, I'm hoping to do a collaboration with somebody pretty soon. I still have to figure out the technology behind some of the stuff. I'm not really familiar with, uh, what do they call it? Like the, uh, I don't know what they call Zoom and Skype and all that stuff. I, I, I've been told it's very easy to, to operate, but I still have to do a, a test run of it and figure out what I'm doing to make sure I'm doing it correctly. And then I'll go from there and then I'll be off to the races as far as uh, if anybody's interested in doing any sort of collaborative efforts with me. But again, I got to get that figured out. And then once I get that figured out, then I can move from there and then we can do some stuff. But there are a couple of people I've talked to in the past who have expressed interest or have reached out and said, hey, if you want to do anything, just let me know. So it's just a matter of me getting, you know, stop procrastinating, stop being lazy and just go ahead and either download the crap or figure out what it is and all that sort of good stuff. So, yeah, that's that. So that's what I got planned in the future. Uh, I got a couple concerts coming up. Uh, I'll probably mention it one or one or two more times in the future. But I did. Uh, I got decapitated that they're coming up, coming to Tampa pretty soon. So I'm going to see them pretty soon. Uh, oh, and by the way, while I'm thinking about it, because I forgot about it for the uh, I did a and a thing and I forgot this in the video. So I'll add it to here. Uh, but you may have noticed I've been adding videos of my old matches. So I got my legacy box thing and fun story, which I'll, I'll tag Anthony from Metal Miners in this. But I did find the stupid flash drive. It was stuck between my folded undies in my unmentionables drawer and to say that i was pissed would be an understatement i literally it took me a week to find the stupid thing so now it's stuck on my keychain i've got the other one set away put a put in a in a lock box and i figure one day what i'll do is i'll bequeath one of them to somebody and they can show it at my viking funeral and it'll probably expedite everybody want to set me off to see and, and burn the ashes and the film and everything else so yeah so that's that so i hope everybody enjoyed that little anecdote oh and i got another one you'll, you'll appreciate this so i was going to a thrift store looking for some uh cheap furniture some cheap stuff to, to utilize in the uh, the place here and i'm sitting there in traffic i'm just minding my own business and some kid is like He's like trying to get my attention, waving at me and everything. So I rolled down my window and I just, hey, what's going on? He's, bro, your beard is sick. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Just went around my business. I see his, his friends are in the front seat. They're all laughing. Like he was just, I don't it, it just made me laugh. I, I called somebody and let them know it was going to. Yeah, you won't, you won't believe 
can't believe what just happened. And everybody started laughing just because they, they thought it was funny. Because ra weird random stuff like that happens to me all the time. I, I don't know why. It just does. But it makes for good stories. It's it's fun to share with people. I enjoy star sharing all these goofy stories with people like that. I enjoy staring, too. Just look at me stare. It's hypnotic. You can't look away. But anyhow. All right. So that's it for now. Uh, hope you enjoy. I've babbled on long enough. As always, stay sick, stay heavy, stay brutal. Upon impact, always tuck your chin. Don't forget to breathe. And I will catch you on the next video. Later.